Welcome back to Underwater Math, I'm Lucy, and today we are going to dive deeper into our understanding of 2D figures. Swim along with me. There are many different types of shapes out there, and we are going to focus on the characteristics that make those shapes. This is my friend Sammy, and he is going to help us out. Hey there. Let's look at the very familiar shapes first. Knowing just a bit of vocabulary will help you greatly in identifying these shapes. The first one is a triangle, which might seem obvious. Tri means three, so a triangle has three angles and three sides. Next up is quadrilaterals. Quad means four, so all quadrilaterals have four sides. These are shapes like rectangles, squares, trapezoids, and a rhombus. Then we have the five-sided figures. This is called a pentagon, because penta means five. I'm sure you can guess our next shape. It has six sides, making it a hexagon. Finally, we have octagons. These are eight-sided shapes and got its name from octo, meaning eight. Kind of like an octopus, which has eight tentacles. Oh wow, that was a lot of information. Sammy, what if I have a four-sided figure that doesn't look like a rectangle, square, or rhombus? Is it still a quadrilateral? Great question. Yes. Any closed figure with four sides is considered a quadrilateral. Even if it doesn't look exactly like a four-sided figure you are used to. I'm guessing that is the same for the other shapes as well. For example, if I drew this house, it has five sides. I would consider it a pentagon. Right again. Any five-sided shape is considered a pentagon. And if I drew this super weird shape that doesn't actually resemble anything, I could count the sides and classify it? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six sides. This must be a hexagon. Great work, Lucy. You've got this, and I think the students do too. Let's head out and let them practice. Bye. 